and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we're taking a look at the Center Picture Window Card Heart Add-on. So this goes with the Center Picture Window Card dies, which you can see here. The original opening was an oval, and now we have this fun heart-shaped opening. We also have these branches, these birds, and leaves that come with this die set. So here's a look at the dies and the pieces they cut out. So that heart shape, you're going to cut out of a piece that you cut with this die that comes with the original center picture window die set. So I've gone ahead and I've cut that out of some pattern paper. This die cuts, or I should say scores, a score line down the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold that. And it also gives you a score line for those tabs on the side. But the reason why I went ahead and folded this is so you can see that crease down the middle because that's what you're going to use to line up your heart. So you can see how this heart has these two bars that go down the center of the die. This is your guide to line up your heart with that fold. So you're not going to cut these off of the die. You want to make sure those remain. And you're going to line up the fold in the center between those two bars. So I'm just gonna hold it in place with some tape and run that through my die cut machine. And you can see now I have that heart shape. It's right on the fold. And you have that nice stitching detail around that window. So here are the two branches that this die has. They go in opposite directions. There are also two birds going in opposite directions and a little wing that you can add to each of those birds. And then this die set also cuts two sizes of leaves. So there's a larger leaf and then a really small tiny leaf. And these will go on those branches to help set the scene for those little birds. So for my first card, I'm going to make my card base out of craft cardstock. So I use that large die that's part of the center picture window die set. And then I'm also going to use the straight topped hills. This is the part that builds inside the window. So I'm folding all of these on the score lines that the dies create. So for that card base, it's just a score line down the center. For these, there's a score line down the center as well as tabs on each side. So you can see how I'm just folding all those down. And I'm going to reuse the heart window that I just cut for this card. So you can see I've got that pink piece of pattern paper that I cut the heart out of already. I'm going to add some double sided tape to all of these tabs. And then I'm going to partially assemble this. So the way you want to do this is you want to take the fold of the window that's right down the center of our heart and you want to line it up with the fold of the card base. I'm going to pull the liner tape off of one side and I'm going to fold that tab back to the back. Then I'm going to line up the crease, the center of the card and the center of the heart. And I'm just going to stick the one side down. I'm going to do the same thing with these little pieces that go inside. So I'm going to pull off one side of the liner tape. I'm going to fold it under. I'm going to line up the center fold with the center fold of the card. And I'm going to stick that one side down. Now I probably should have done this piece first and then do that center piece last. But you can still easily just line up the fold in the middle with the fold of the card. And stick that right side down. So now that I have those pieces placed where they're going to be, I'm going to fill the window with all these elements. So for this card, I've used this special delivery set. You can see that I've stamped out, colored, and die cut a whole bunch of letters. And I'm going to fill this window with all of these letters. So I'm going to be putting them on those little insert pieces there. And I'm also going to be filling the background so that when this card opens, it just looks like this heart window is filled with all this mail. I am using one that has the letter coming out of the envelope and instead of stamping one of the sentiments on it I decided just to stamp the little heart in the set in some guava ink to match my pink that I have going on with the rest of the card.
So I'm just using my liquid glue to place these so they're nice and sturdy because some of these are only touching these inserts just on the edges. And I want to make sure that they stay put. And then a good way to see what this is going to look like, I'm kind of trying to look at it in 3D, but you can just flatten it all out and it gives you a good idea of where things fall in the window. So these I'm just adding directly to the background. You'll see I'm gonna flip it over and see how full my window is. And then I decided to take that same heart that I used on that letter that's sticking out of the envelope and kind of fill in on that craft background with some little hearts. So now that all those are in place, I'm going to fold my pieces over to the right and I'm gonna to start to peel off that liner paper that's left on those tabs. So each of these you're just gonna fold with that center fold. You're gonna kind of stack them so you can see how they're stacking here. So you're gonna to wanna to do both those inserts as well as that outside window. Peel off that liner paper and then I can take my card and I'm just gonna close it and it's gonna pick up that adhesive on all those tabs. So now for the sides on each side of this window, I'm gonna use some more of the Let It Shine paper and I'm gonna cut it with the center picture window add-on. So this will cut some panels with some nice stitching detail. It cuts a panel that fits on the front of the card and it also cuts some panels that fit on each side of the window on the inside. So I've just cut two of those panels from the striped pattern paper, that aqua color. And then now that I have those panels in place, I can work on the other images that are going to go on each side. So I'm going to put the little owl here with his wings down. So I'm just going to layer those wings behind him. And I'm just getting my placement on where I want those other envelopes and my little owl on the inside. So once I have those in placement where I want them, I'm just going to glue those down with a little bit of liquid glue. So I decided to use the owl with his wings down on the inside because he fits inside better and then I can use the one with his wings out like he's flying on the outside and they kind of coordinate together. And then I just use all the rest of those envelopes that I had to fill in the space. I'm going to stamp the love you sentiment. So now that I have all the inside done, I can work on the front of my card. So I've used that add-on die set to cut a panel that matches the inside pattern paper. And before I assemble my little owl here, I'm gonna use this U-shaped die. And this cuts out underneath his beak a little slit so that you can make him hold stuff in his mouth. So you just line that up with the beak, run that through your die cut machine, and you can see how that letter will fit right under his beak like he's holding it. So I'm just gonna glue that in place, and then I can layer the flying wings behind him. I'm going to use the sentiment that says sending lots of love and I have a little banner cut from some mermaid cardstock and I'm just going to stamp the sentiment on that. I'm using some black licorice ink to stamp my sentiment so you're going to get that nice bold black sentiment. And then I'm just going to layer this along the bottom of this panel. And then my little owl will be above it. And I'm going to put some foam squares on the back of him so he's popped up a little bit. And then I can add some adhesive to the back of the whole panel and layer it right on the front of my little card here. So you get that cute owl on the front that's holding the letter with his wings out. He's 
bringing the mail. He's going to deliver it. And then you open it up to see all those love letters inside, which I just think is so much fun. So for my second card I'm going to make today, I'm going to use the little birds that are part of the die set. So I've got a card base cut from some mermaid cardstock. I've cut my middle panel from some Let It Shine pattern paper, and I'm going to line up that fold again with those center bars of the heart and cut out my heart window opening. Now my little birds I've cut from some chili pepper cardstock. I've also cut them from some red glitter cardstock so that I have a glittery wing to add to each of them. I cut the branches from some brown wood grain cardstock so it has some fun wood grain texture. And I'm just adding some of the little leaves that come in the set. So on that one branch I added a big leaf and on this one I'm going to add a small one and a big one. And instead of mounting these two elements inside the window, I'm going to mount them to the back of the window so they're going to be in the foreground. I'm just going to add my little birds to each of them first so each branch is going to be fully assembled before I add it to my card. So I'm just figuring out the placement and I'm going to add a little bit of liquid glue to the end of each of the branches and I'm just going to layer my heart opening so I can see where they're going to be placed. And I'm just checking that I didn't go past the fold of the tab. That's why I flipped it over. Then I'm going to add the second one and as you can see they are overlapping a little bit but since I use liquid glue I can just adjust them to where they're in the placement that I want them within that window. Now I can add my double-sided tape to each of those tabs and then just as before I'm going to line up the center of the heart with the center of the card. I'm going to pull off the liner paper from one side. I'm going to line that up. I did forget to fold that tab under before I lined it up, so you're going to see me just tuck it under and let that adhesive stick to the card base. So I'm going to hold it in place, tuck it under, and now I've got that right side stuck down. I used some little clouds. Now this die comes in the original center picture window die set that cuts three little tiny clouds and I've cut those from some white glitter cardstock and I'm just adding some of those to the background back inside that window and then I'm going to add this large one to the front of the window. And I'm just looking at how that looks and I decided to add some more to that back background. So you get that depth with those clouds in the background and the birds at the front of the window. So one last little cloud inside here and you can see when you lay it down flat you can kind of see the placement inside the window and that helps a lot. And then now I can fold it over to the right side. I'm going to pull off the other liner paper for the other tab. And then I'm just going to close my card. Close and pick up that adhesive. And now I have that window in the middle of my card. So for the sentiment, I'm going to use some stamps from the Offset Sayings birthday set. So I've already got them mounted on my blocks here. And I'm going to have part of the sentiment on the left side that says wishing you a very and then I'm going to stamp the other half of my sentiment on the right side down low so you kind of get this dynamic look from the sentiment going from top left to bottom right and this is happy b-day
Now I'm going to move on to the front of my card. I'm making the same birds as I made before. So a red cardstock bird with a red glitter cardstock wing. I've cut a panel from some Let It Shine paper just as I did on the first card using that add-on die set. And then I also cut the tiny wreath and I've cut this from some cilantro cardstock as well as the teal color from the Let It Shine paper pack. And I'm going to layer these two colors together to kind of make this wreath look much more full and you get the two tones of green colors. Then I'm just going to center this up in the middle of this panel that's going to go on the front of the card. And then I'm going to add my two little birds. So I'm not putting a sentiment on the front of this card because I have the sentiment on the inside already. So I'm just going to hold that one on the left there so I can kind of see the placement. And then I'll just add a little bit of liquid glue to that as well. And so I like the look of these little birds with the wreath. I had also thought about cutting the wreath out of brown cardstock to kind of look like a nest. So I think that might be something good to try in the future. And then I wanted the eyes of the birds to be dark. So I'm just putting a dot through the hole of the eye. And then I'm just coloring a little dot behind it. So putting the dot through the eye first shows me where to kind of color in a dot behind the bird. Doesn't have to be very big, but now their eyes are both black. And then I can add this panel to the front of my card. And then for a little added embellishment, I actually use some lawn trimmings twine. This is the white with the silver sparkle in it. And I'm just going to tie a little bow and add that to the top of my little wreath on the front. So I'm just going to add a little glue dot I'm using my craft knife. I picked it up off the backer piece with that. I'm going to stick that down and then I can just trim off the ends of my bow so they're a little bit shorter. And then here is that finished card. I just think that's so cute with those little birds on the front and then you open it up and you get those birds sitting on the branches. Now let's look at some examples from the design team. Kara made this super sweet card using the heart from the scallop slimline dies and then I love her trees that she added to the inside to complete the look. Audrey's card is super sweet. I love that cloudy pattern paper she used inside of the window in the middle. And then Megan's card is really cute and I love how she used the squirrels delivering the letters. I just think that's so much fun and I love them paired with the owl from Special Delivery. Elise made a really cute card. I like her clouds in the background and that really bold sentiment on the front. And then you open it up to see those little birds and that cloud stenciling continued on the inside. I just think it is so sweet. I love Grace's trio of cards where she used the Just My Type mice and the typewriter. And I love how she used the Conversation Heart stencil for both the inside and the outside of her cards, as well as those die cut hearts from the Scallop Slimline dies. Melissa's card is so sweet. I love the scripty glitter joy and then on the inside you have those bright red birds and those white vines and it is just a sweet Christmas card. And then I love how Elena used that heart die cut a little differently and cut a window out of a gift bag. I just think that is so sweet and so clever. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye!